Hey, it's Lacey, and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Last week, I was interviewed on the podcast Meeting of the Minds by Dominic 3.0. We talked about all things Gala Games, Townstar, how I got started with PDE Gaming, what games I'm looking forward to later this year, and much more. We had a lot of fun on the show, and here are the first few minutes from the podcast for your listening enjoyment. Um, Lacey, for those who don't know what your channel is all about, um, can you give my audience and everyone else who watches this a little bit of a rundown about who you are and what your channel is all about? Yeah, um, well, my name's Lacey, and uh, I make clear and focused gaming tutorials. Uh, I also do game reviews and relaxing playthroughs for a variety of games. Uh, my primary focus is being around cozy games and play to earn titles. And I'm currently covering Townstar, Mirandus, My Time at Sandrock, and Little Witch in the Woods. And um, I also have a Hoka Life stream event coming up next week. And I hope to have lots more play to earn game reviews coming here soon. I got a lot in the pipeline. So, yeah. How exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I did a little bit of research prior to you coming onto the show and trying to dig into a little bit about your channel and the thing you do and stuff like that. And I see you, you know, you've been in the YouTube space for a little while and you kind of started off with doing the um, Stardew Valley and you played a little bit of uh, Terraria mm -hmm. and a little bit of a bunch of other <laughs> games. Yep. Um, but, you know, that really piqued my interest. About, I'm curious to see, you know, how did you really get involved with the Web3 space such as crypto, NFTs, and play to earn? Because, I don't know, I, I feel like the um, Mirandis and Stardew Valley are two completely different games and two completely mm -hmm. genres all together. Yes, they are. Um, well, to give you a little backstory, um, in early 2021, I started doing a lot of day trading. Um, it's mostly stocks, but some crypto too. And then I was making some more long-term investments in various coins. Sure. And I was making some videos on my other channel, which is called Life by Lacey. And that was actually my original channel I started about five years ago. And I was doing some videos about the investments I was making. And that get channel actually started out as a gaming channel. And Stardew Valley was my primary um, yeah, content yeah. for quite a while on that channel. And uh, my husband actually was the one who happened across Townstar during, I don't know, late summer 2021. Sure. And thought I should give it a try because I played a lot of farming sims, mainly Stardew. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> because of my interest in crypto, he thought, you know, you probably really like this. And at the time, I didn't know much about NFTs or play to earn gaming. Sure. But I've always been kind of a self-starter and like to learn new things. So I decided to give it a whirl and I got totally hooked. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's kind of happens with everybody, you know. Um, pretty much everyone I've spoken to, uh, my previous guest, uh, Jake from Hammer of Hammond 23, as well as some other individuals I've spoken with in the community. Um, a lot of people really got involved with the crypto and NFT space uh, just within this past pandemic, within the past year or two. And, yeah. Um, I, I think that's a really thing that uh, specifically blew up Gala in specific. You know, I, um, I, I, at least for me personally, I've been kind of in the crypto space for a little while, like since like 2017 and whatnot. And, uh, I didn't actually learn about Gala as well until, I don't know, late 2021 as well. Kind of like okay. everybody else. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've seen I've seen a lot of projections of the same, same kind of crowd coming in around the same time with crypto and NFTs and whatnot. But um, yeah, I, I'm curious also to, to see and hear about, like, why did you decide to pivot your channel from more of just like the um, Stardew Valley? I know you still do some of that, but why mm -hmm. did you decide to um, start to do recordings and your YouTube channel regarding around Tar Townstar specifically? Um, well, I don't do specifically Townstar, nothing else, so I just want to make that clear. I do still right. do a variety of games, but um, I usually focus whatever my current, you know, game I'm really loving yeah. um, is kind of like the primary content. So right now that is Townstar. And um, I don't know, I just really love cozy farming sims and I like games that got, offer good replayability and lots of strategy. And Townstar stands out to me because every time you play it, it can be so different from the time before. Mm -hmm. So the sheer amount of build types and strategy kind of keeps me invested in coming back for more. And if you add in the NFTs, there are even more possibilities. So fine tuning your builds and trying to make the best build I can is really what I find fun about the game and what kind of makes it, you know, the dominant game on my channel right now because it can be so different every time. There's constantly new stuff to show and there's so much strategy involved. There's a lot to learn. And since my focus is kind of around gaming tutorials, it yeah. seems like a really natural fit. Yeah, yeah. And I guess while we're on the topic about, um, you know, discussing like uh, gaming tutorials and whatnot, I'm, you know, curious to dive into um, your opinions about the current change of the meta about the uh, 
current play to earn mechanics and mm -hmm. um, the rewards of each items and whatnot. I, I, I already know the your opinion on this as I did watch a couple of your videos and some of the frustrations you've had and whatnot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh -huh. But yeah, for those for those who you know aren't all too familiar with your uh, top your, your channel and just your videos and your opinion on things. Um, I guess we'll just dive into a little bit about more of the meta of Townstar and how things have changed within the past couple of uh, months. I know, um, actually, you know, I guess I'll out myself here. Um, you're actually one of the first channels that I watched that discovered Townstar. And uh, I knew oh. about Gala and all of that, and I um, I was aware of the ecosystem, but I didn't really, I wasn't really all in on that. But um, your tutorials and stuff like that was uh, something that really drew me into the community, and I found the Discord and all that. So. Um, oh, that's awesome! Self Thank little you. kudos to you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I what, what I just wanna. What is your take on the current state of the game? Um, I have some pretty mixed opinions about it. Um, I really love Townstar, and I really want to see it do well because I think the core mechanics of the game are just outstanding. Yeah. And I think as far as the gaming aspect goes, it's really fun to play, and it's easy to pick up for new players. You know, little tutorials are helpful because there is some tweaking and fine tuning that can really happen to make your game play even better. But this, the way they're going with the NFTs and especially the ones they've released here more recently. Um, uh, what's the one I just talked about? I'm drawing a huge blank and I'm so sorry. It's the the sugar stand. The or... sugar one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just came out with that, and I think those types of NFTs I'm really bummed out to see because I feel like it's just raising the level of entry for people that are wanting to play in the competition, yeah, and it's totally. becoming more of like a you know not just a play to earn, but Kind of a, a buy to earn almost <laughs> right like a play, to, play like the play to earn you know that's the, that's a very common phrase and uh, yeah or play to something. yeah they're play paying to win. to win basically i hope you enjoyed that sample and be sure to hop over to dominic 3.0's channel to hear the full interview you can find the link in the description down below if you'd like access to exclusive content and special perks you can join my patreon for as little as one dollar i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe also hit that bell to turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my latest videos you can also find me on twitter at satoshi gaming tv thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time bye